Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you how to turn on a light bulb with a battery. Now, this is a little bit more difficult than you might think because the light bulb and the battery have to match. This is the important thing. Or you have to change the battery to suit the light bulb. Now, if I have a light bulb on it, it'll say something like, oh, one watt 12 volts. What that means is the power it uses is one watt and the voltage it needs is 12 volts and it'll use one watt at 12 volts. If I reduce the voltage, I'm sorry, it won't work very well. If I use a one volt or one and a half volt supply, this will be very dim. I won't get much current. That's the problem. If I have a 1.5 volt cell like this, well, this will not drive that. I can put the two together and what will happen is this will glow maybe a little bit, but it won't act as a light bulb. So you would say, ah, well look, what if I took eight of these and attached it to that. Yes, that's okay. If I take eight of these, right, and I attach them so that I've got them all in series, one after the other, I'll end up with a battery. This is what a battery is. And that battery would be eight times 1.5 volts, which is 12 volts. And yes, it should drive this bulb, providing this can supply enough current. Because as well as getting the right voltage, you have to be able to get enough current. Now, I can get 12 volts for my car starter motor. But if I use this type of thing for my car starter motor, yes, I can get 12 volts. But the problem is, as soon as I try and actually start the starter motor, nothing will happen because this kind of cell, this kind of battery can't supply 200 amps. In fact, it's going to be a maximum of half an amp. And this is because the current depends on how much resistance this has. So how much resistance, this is called the filament, how much resistance the filament has. And if the filament has a low resistance, you're going to get a high current. Now, so what do I say? The answer is, if you are using this kind of cell, don't expect to get more than half an amp. If this, for example, is 12 volts and one watt, in fact, this will work quite happily from these because the current, right? The current is going to be a 12th of an amp, less than a 10th of an amp, a very small current, that's fine. But it won't work if you use a car uh, if you use a car headlight bulb and they might be something like 48 watts in which case you would get 4 amps and I'm sorry this won't manage. So turning on a light bulb with a battery is more than just matching the voltages you have to look at the currents too. If the power is big even if the voltage is small if the power is big, then you're going to have a big current and that will mean that you need a more powerful battery. So there you are, turning on a light bulb with a battery in simplified form.